everybody, Indigo Priestess here. Um, once again, I'm back. Um, yeah, so basically I thought, you know what, I'm always doing spells. I'm always on this serious note, even though I'm very quirky and very jokey and um, I'm a witch. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm just very fun and very loving and um, it's nice that, um, you know, subscribers just know that about me. You know, I'm not spending time putting curses on people. Um, real witches don't have that type of time. Unless somebody does something really vicious to them, they're going to take their time and do something back to that person. Um, but real witches understand that um, karma is a bitch. So, it, you know what? We need to also balance that karma. So if somebody does something wrong to you, you know, you're going to do something back to them. But if no one has done any harm to you, there's no reason to do harm to them. Okay, guys, so just please remember that. But, um, yeah, there I'm going into the serious note again. But anyways, um, I just wanted to mention a few embarrassing moments because even though, you know, I had a close relationship and I still do with the spirit world, I have experienced pretty much some really damn embarrassing situations in my life. A few times I found myself on stage and, you know, that uh, when I was modeling beauty pageants, oh, um you know the judge would ask me like a question and this happened twice and obviously you know even though um my mother was totally amazing um wanted um me to to enter competitions i really sucked at answering these um questions because the questions was never if they had to ask me something about the spirit world i'd be like you know I'd probably win first prize, I'd win heck, I'd win queen, Miss Universe, you know, but they were asking me questions about, about like, what would you like to do to save the world, and I never thought about those type of things, I was like, heck, I was like 13, 14 years old, I wasn't thinking about saving the world, I was thinking about um, the spirit I saw last night, or the emotions that I was feeling being an indigo child, so obviously, um, I would mess up on the stage, I talk a whole lot of rubbish and people would laugh at me. Um, this one time I actually, they asked me a question, who is your, um, wait, um, something about principles and how has it changed your life? I've never, I just remember principles was in it. And my reply to that question was, oh no, I mean, who does that? <laughs> you know, for years I couldn't actually um god actually you know what just thinking about it i mean giving an answer like oh no on stage with hundreds of people watching you that's like pretty darn um scarring you know but the fact that i can laugh about it now is pretty amazing and uh for years after that i was known as the oh no beauty pageant girl and as i would walk in it would be like oh he come oh no um he come oh no is actually afrikaans for here comes oh no okay so guys that was like really one of the embarrassing moments for me and the other embarrassing moment for me was definitely when i was still in high school and it was casual wear because here in south africa we wear school clothes um at least at the public schools we wear school clothes so I was walking down the stairs and obviously some guys was checking me out and I was like checking the one guy out and um, the next thing I know I was checking the staircase out. Uh, that was like pretty darn embarrassing because at that point I was thinking, do I, this all happened within a second, do I pretend to be dead? Okay. Or do I get up and laugh and dust myself off? Um, you guys, I don't know what you would choose, but what I chose was death. I chose to be dead. I chose to um, basically have fainted. I didn't knock my head. I just saw the staircase because my face almost um, knocked it. But I, I fell this way forward. But I chose to be dead. And obviously lying there with my eyes closed, feeling like I my whole world just came to an end, um, you know, was a nightmare for me. But... Most people would just get up and dust themselves off and, and continue and just like laugh at themselves. But no, I had to do something which um, definitely um, caused some damage to my reputation at school. Um, but yeah, I pretended to be dead in high school on the staircase. 
Uh, five minutes later, I was woken up by a teacher, woken up because I was awake the whole time. Um, then they didn't kind of make a big deal about it because Bianca actually really hurt herself, okay? So, <laughs> um, yeah, a few weeks later, I finally got over myself and finally could walk around again. No one was saying, hey, there's that girl that nearly died on the staircase. Um, yeah, I could just like um, move forward. But guys, yeah, I just thought, you know what, let me make a light video. Let me just say some a few things about me. And yeah, um, so that's it from me. And I definitely will be back with uh, more videos. Um, these ones, I just felt, you know, let me make a few lighthearted ones. Um, obviously, not all of them are lighthearted, but I just feel it's important that viewers know me and know that I'm not just somebody who, who casts spells, but I'm very much human and, um, and I am very quirky, uh, lots of fun. I talk a lot of rubbish, I'm the Joker and um even though i communicate with the spirit world i'm still me i'm still real i'm still weird and i own my weirdness and yeah that is it for from me for now and uh, please like please subscribe i adore you all even though i haven't met you i love you all and that is the truth from my heart and my soul um i need to get some sleep ciao